What's going on guys? My name is Tide and today I'm going to be talking about Dual Universe. Dual Universe is a first person based space simulator. It's an MMO sandbox styled ish quote unquote role playing because so far I haven't experienced any role playing. But nonetheless it's supposedly a role playing game also. So the main meat and bones of this is building kind of like space engineers combat and crafting and automating i feel like those are some of the strong points of this game itself and other things like role playing and building structures i did air quotes um are some of the smaller things that are minuscule or non-important in this game now, being really experienced with space engineers, my playstyle is crafting, automating, and manufacturing. And in this game, you have different size, like assemblers, refiners, inventory spaces, you know, basic stuff. Um, but there's a couple catches when it comes to that, and that is only certain sized crafters can make certain sized things. For example, my small assembler can only make basic level 1 things. But my medium assembler can only make medium things, basically. And they can't, they're not backwards compatible, so you're required to have a small assembler, a medium assembler, and a large assembler to craft a lot of your things. Which I'm not saying I'm completely against that, it's just a bit repetitive when you need to craft a whole bunch of small things, a whole bunch of medium things, and a whole bunch of large things, because your medium assembler can't craft basic screws. Which depending on how you look at it, it could make sense. The ship building's okay. I haven't had too much experience because I am fairly new, so I wasn't able to build too much. Um, the resources in the game, I'm not a fan of. Um, like I said, there is no mining ships or anything, so you have to mine everything by hand. Um, but the resources are just... I'm on the safe moon, basically, which is a safe zone, so there's no PvP, which I was just trying to get the hang of the game. But all I know on the main planets, there's not as abundant of resources. But all the resources are a quantity of 20, which is a little weird given that they're all different sizes. So going to larger resources on the surface doesn't make any difference compared to going small ones. Um, but all the basic level 1 resources are just scattered around on the surface. They're also underground, but there are much larger quantities, but you have to dig to them. Um, this is where linking your inventory to your ship makes everything a lot better. Because you can hold a lot more. Going into talents, talents are basically just your skills. In hindsight. Um, basically, faster crafting speeds, which is nice because it's a time-based game. Um, increase uh, industry, mining, piloting. Radar, weapons. Um, it seems like this game is pretty heavily focused around combat for some reason, which I mean can be a vital part of your game. But for someone like me, where I do little to no PvP, not that important. Um, the crafting system and whatnot is pretty in depth. It's not super advanced, it can be overwhelming and a little frustrating because you'll have to go to your medium assembler and craft something from your medium assembler and then also craft something from your inventory and then potentially have to craft something from your small assembler which isn't bad it's just a little repetitive and everything takes a, a little bit time consuming to make for example right now I'm crafting a small container which is going to take me 30 minutes, but I'll queue stuff up for my inventory that'll take a couple hours, and I'll just kind of sit there and go AFK, and I don't know if there's a AFK kicker, because I haven't been kicked, and I went AFK for a couple hours and just chilled, but I'm not hating on the game, but unfortunately I wasn't able to experience a lot of it, because everything is behind a time restriction. Um... Or you could just grind out money and buy everything, which is, in my opinion, a little bit unrealistic because that small container behind me, I spent like $7 million, which doesn't sound like a lot, and it's not 
too much. It's just I'm 20, 30 kilometers out from the closest selling station, and that requires a lot of time transporting back and forth and potentially damaging your ship because the flights, in my opinion, with the hovering at least, is a little bit trashy. Um, I've crashed my ship a couple times by going too fast and my ship not being able to increase its altitude and me just smacking the ground and bouncing off. Uh, fortunately, they do have a nice system where you can lift your ship up off the ground in like an editing mode so you can fix it and whatnot, which is cool. Um, even though I say it's unrealistic, I spent 1,500 hours playing Life is Futile, and this game requires somewhere around the same amount of time spent, and working a full-time job, and supporting me and other people makes it kind of difficult to dump that much time, which to be fair, you can craft stuff and leave, and the big thing around that is if you become more refined and automated, it makes it a lot easier so you don't have to actually be there and do things you can make it create produce an X amount of resources as long as you go out and mine those resources for the refineries to do their thing for the assemblers to do their thing and it's really just getting it all automated which is the big thing which isn't bad um, but I did put about 20 ish hours into the game because I just I wanted to get a good feel for the game itself and I love games like Space Engineers and Satisfactory and Assembly and whatnot, but behind the time barrier, I wasn't able to see much of that. Um, this game still has a lot of potential, though. Um, is it worth the $6.99 a month? I would say if you're trying to experience this game and you want to determine if this is something you want to play because it's only $69 a year, which is a new game, basically... Well, 59. It's it's basically buying a new game and you'd have it for a whole year. But if you're trying to experience this game and figure out if you want to play it and if you like it, I would say buy it for a month, see how it is. If you don't like it, worst case scenario, you're out 6.99. You know, I don't know what happens to the stuff when you stop playing or if you're dormant and you go AFK for too long. As in, I stop paying the subscription and whatnot what happens to all my territory and whatnot so that stuff i have no idea um it just requires a bit too much time for me and my personal taste um because all that end game stuff is going to take hundreds of hours which is not something that i have the luxury of being able to put in let me know what you guys think of dual universe uh, down in the comments section um let me know if you guys like the video and if you guys want to see more subscribe